Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, will do my Champions League 23-24 tier list. Just to let you guys know, this will be my final club-related video for this season of the European football. And I will not do any club-related videos until after the Euros and Copa America is done. So just to let you guys know that this will be my final video. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and start with this tier list, man. All 32 teams of the Champions League. This should be very interesting and everything. So let me explain how this works. Obviously, so we've got S is like the best. A is like great. B is like good. C is like average. D is like terrible. F is like failure. We're going to go alphabetical order, by the way, guys. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do this, man. We're going to go ahead and do this. So let's start with Milan. Ooh, this is an interesting one. AC Milan. I'm going to say... They finished third in a very difficult group and with the consistent PSG, Newcastle, and Dortmund. They managed to get three points against PSG, managed to get four points against Newcastle, and managed to get one point against Dortmund. Eight points. And generally, eight points is um, sometimes enough to get second place, you know. But generally, it's enough for third. So, for Milan... I'm going to put them in C. I'm going to put them in C. I think they had a decent Champions League campaign, and it was a very difficult group. And let's be real. In most other groups, they probably would have got second place. It was just that group was so hard, you know, consisting of, you know, PSG and Dortmund. And I just think they did a good job. You know, they did a great job, you know, managed to get third place. And they were coming into the final match they bought in the group as well. They needed to get a win, and they managed to get a win away in Newcastle and had to come from behind. So for me, for Milan, it's definitely, a, I think a C is fair. Royal Antwerp. Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Like, if we're keeping a, st a stack, they were pretty bad in the Champions League. But keep in mind, this was their debut season. But even though they did finish ball in the group, they did get three points. They still put out some largely competitive games. Like, I think for the most part, they did all right. So, for me, for Royal Antwerp, I could have put them in F. And I think F could have, I could have easily put them in F. But I'm going to put them in D because at least they were decent in most of the games. You know, only a few games where they got blown away. But yeah, I thought for the most part, I'm going to put them in D. I'll put them in D, just the tier, low end of D. They're like a D minus. Arsenal. Arsenal getting to the Champions League quarterfinals. Now, I feel like that's a good expectation. I think Arsenal, when you look at the squad they have, I think quarterfinals is a good expectation. But the issue for me with Arsenal is that were they truly tested? Because let's be real, guys. That group stage was pretty easy. They got a very kind group. It was almost like a Europa League group. Uh, then the round of 16, they played against Porto. They just about made it through. And then it gets a Bayern team that has been so bad this season. Probably one of the worst Bayern teams of all time. They really struggled. So Arsenal probably should at least have made the semis. You can make an argument. But I feel like for Arsenal, quarterfinals is still a great achievement. Because, you know, we have to keep in mind this is the first season back in the Champions League after so many years. So I think Arsenal, for me, I'm going to put them in B. I think they did about as expected. Um, and I think they maybe did a little bit better, but... You know, I just feel like for Arsenal, man, they just, I just wish, I just feel like that Bayern game, they're going to be kind of disappointed that, hey, we should have probably, we could have maybe beaten Bayern since Bayern were so poor this season. But yeah, I mean, Arsenal for me, B, I think B is pretty tall for Arsenal. Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid is another interesting one because they topped a group with was pretty easy, let's be real, with the Celtic, Feyenoord, and um, Lazio. Around a 16, they defeated Inter, which was very impressive, having to come from Vienna, and especially being so bad in the first leg. And then putting out, and they're going out to Dortmund. See, the problem with me with Atleti is that they should have been in Dortmund. But the players they have and everything, and the fact that they allow Dortmund to come, they allow Dortmund to destroy them in the second leg is really sad. So for Atletico, it's tough because I feel like a quarterfinals is like the bare minimum for Atletico. Or at least round of 16. I think round of 16 was a bare minimum. But see, for Atletico, where do I, I'm not sure, man. This is a tough one. I'm debating between either a B or C. I think I'm going to put them B. I'll put them B just because they at least made the quarterfinals. And they tick, did take out Inter, which a lot of people didn't expect them to beat Inter. So, you know what? I'll put them in B. I'll put them in B. I'll put, like, a B above Arsenal. Uh, and, yeah, I'll put them in B. I'll put them B. Because they did take down Ars uh, They did take down Inter, who had been amazing this season. So, yeah. Barcelona. Let's be real, guys. Barcelona, where uh, we, were, we, we were lucky to make the quarterfinals. We topped a group in a very probably one of the easiest groups of Champions League history. Well, we, we made it a lot harder than it should have been. We topped the group just on head-to-head. -head. Round of 60, we played against a Napoli team and so bad this season. And then quarterfinals, 
we 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 bottled we bottled our advantage against PSG. So for me, for Barca, I thought we were very unconvincing. We are very unconvincing. You could also argue we were lucky to make the quarterfinals. And yeah, for Barca, honestly, I, I this might be crazy to say, but I'm gonna put us in C. I, I think we did as about as average. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna put Barca in C. Um, maybe like a C. Uh, do I? I'll probably put them like a C. I'll probably put Milan like a C minus. Uh, but yeah, Barca, I'll put them a C. Uh, Bayern Munich. A uh, Bayern Munich for me, man. They got to a Champions League semifinals after so many years. You know, they hadn't made a Champions League semi since I think 2020, uh, when they last won the Champions League. And for Bayern, as I said. They topped the group. That was a very, it was a very doable group for Bayern. Round of 16, they took care of Lazio, as we expect, and they took care of Arsenal, which a lot of people actually thought Arsenal would beat Bayern, which was actually interesting. It was very, a lot of people were kind of surprised that Bayern were able to beat Arsenal, given how bad Bayern had been this season. And then they put up a great game against Real Madrid. So for Bayern, as I said, but at the same time, though, were they lucky to make the semifinals? You could make arguments. But I feel like Bayern, I, I feel like Bayern did deserve to make the semis, and they put up a good game against Real Madrid. So they did lose in like a dramatic time, you know, stoppage time. So I think for Bayern, I'll put them like an A minus, just about an A, uh, scrape to A. But yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of unconvincing for Bayern. They they you know they kind of weren't that convincing. Uh, Benfica for me, uh, Benfica was terrible. I'm sorry, Benfica for me, most of the Champions League were pretty bad, uh, but they did manage to get that win against Salzburg, which was critical. That win against Salzburg was very critical. They were able to do it, I think, on head-to-head, if I'm not mistaken. And so, for Benfica, as I said, they were not great. They were not great. So, I, I know they managed to get the Champions League at the end of the day, uh, Europa League, but I'm putting them in D, man. I, I thought they were pretty bad for majority of the Champions League. And they were only able to get Europa League because they, they were able to beat Salzburg, I believe. So, yeah, for me, for Benfica, as I said, I'm putting them in D. I'll put them like D, uh, D, uh, D honestly. I could I could even put them D minus, but they, you know they at least got third, so I, I can't be that much more generous, uh, you know. Um, so I'm putting the D. Uh, Braga for me, I thought Braga did decent in the Champions League. You know they were able to uh, beat, uh, they were able to get four points against Junior Berlin and put up some good competitive games against, against Real Madrid and Napoli. So for Braga's ascent, I think they did as about as expected. Um, you know you can maybe argue they over exceeded because a lot of people actually expected them to finish bottom. They actually ended up finishing third, so you got to give them that credit. So. For, for me, for Braga, as I said, I'm putting them like, maybe, you know what, I'll put them C. I'll put them C. I think they had a decent campaign, uh, but yeah, not much more. Obviously, Dortmund for me is A. I mean, they made it to the Champions League final. They lost the Champions League final to Real Madrid, but they they they, they fully deserve to make the final. They were in a very difficult group. The group of death, they managed to get past round of 16, managed to get past quarterfinals, defeating Atletico, defeating PSG. And you can probably argue they were the underdogs in both the quarterfinals and the semifinals and at the group stage, so... Yeah, for me, for Dortmund, man, uh, the second best team in the Champions League by four. Celtic, we obviously know Celtic is an F. I mean, Celtic is an F. Uh, as we know, Celtic didn't really do much to the Champions League. Now, I will give them credit. They managed to de- at least defeat Feyenoord at the end. And obviously, they did get a draw against Atletico. But Celtic, man, they were pretty poor for a majority of the Champions League. And let's be real, that Feyenoord game at the end was pretty much a dead rubber. So, like it, like I said, for Celtic, as I said, it got to be an F. Sorry to say uh, Red Star Belgrade, uh, it's probably another F. I'm sorry. They 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 were not great. I think they got one point against Young Boys where they tied at home, and I think they lost away. But yeah, other than that, they were pretty bad. So I'm sorry. Uh, Red Star Belgrade, I'll put them like F. I'll probably put them like uh, below uh, Celtic because at least Celtic managed to get a win. But yeah. Uh, Fire Nord for me. Fire Nord, I thought Fire Nord were all right. You know, they should have. I've, uh, they, they did well in the group stage, you know, managed to beat Lazio. But then they lost to Atletico twice. That was the issue. And I think that's what ultimately cost them. And obviously, they lost to Lazio as well. So, for Feyenoord, I think they it's a C. It's probably like a C, honestly. I think they were all right. Um, and, yeah. So, I'll, I'll put them C. Maybe like a C- minus or something. Galatasaray. I thought Galatasaray were, were decent in the Champions League. Uh, you know, they managed to get third. A lot of people expected them to get third in the group. You know, some people had them to get second. But they got third. So... For Galatasaray, they did they did decent, you know, got four points against Manchester United, got one point against Copenhagen. And yeah, so for Galatasaray, I'll put them put them like a C, I'll put them like average. Um, I'll probably put them. Do I put them? I think Fine Nord accumulated more points, so I'll put I'll probably put them uh uh below. Uh, yeah, I'll put Galatasaray like a low C ish. Inter, Inter for me. Inter is a bit tricky because 
They did well in the group stage. Managed to get second place, but they should have topped that group, let's be real. At the round 68, they really messed up against Inter. Sorry, Atletico Madrid. So, for Inter, in my opinion, um, and, uh, do I... I, I think I think I have to put C. I have to put C. I think Inter for me was one of the most unluckiest teams, so because they only did lose on penalties, but I can't put them like I can't put a team that went around a sixteen like a B or A. So I'll put them just about. I'll put them like the C, like the highest C you could possibly get. But yeah, Inter for me, yeah, not great, uh, and very disappointing. Uh, Copenhagen for me, I thought Copenhagen was fantastic. I I think Copenhagen for them to advance from the group stage only the second time in history. That, get, that deserves a lot of plaudence and a praise and recognition. But unfortunately, they did get smashed around the against Manchester City. So you know what? I, I think I think, I think uh, Copenhagen actually did really well. I think Copenhagen actually did really well. They exceeded expectations. So I think for them, honestly, I think I'm going to put them B. And I know you guys are probably going to be surprised. Like, why am I putting Feyenoord over Inter and Barca? Like, I'm putting this based on their expectations and everything. So I think Fein, uh, uh, sorry, not Feyenoord, sorry, Copenhagen. So, yeah, Copenhagen for me, I'm putting them B, just like a low B-ish, uh, because, you know, they made the round 16. So, yeah, that, that's incredible. No one expects them. Many people didn't expect them to get around 16. Uh, Lazio for me, I'm putting them C. Uh, they were good in the group stage, you know, managed to get six, uh, six points against uh, Celtic and managed to get a point against Atletico. And I think they got they got three points against, uh, what is it called, Feyenoord. So, yeah, I think for uh, Lazio, I thought they were good. You know, put up a decent performance against Bayern. But, yeah, they, they were just not that great. So, I think for Lazio, they did about as expect, expected, round of 16. Um, so, I'll probably put them, like, I guess I'll put them uh, uh, behind Barca. And, yeah, uh, everything. Okay, next up is RC Lons. I think Lons actually did decent. You know, they managed to get Europa League. And many of us didn't expect them to get Europa League. They managed to and instead got uh, they managed to get Europa League when many of us suspected them to finish bottom. And I believe they were the pot four team. They also defeated Arsenal as well, which is crazy. And they defeated uh, Sevilla as well. So I think they got four points against Sevilla, three points against Arsenal. And I think I think they got a draw against PSV. I have to double check, but I think they got a draw against PSV. So I, I think for Lons, I think they did well. I think they did decently well. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, went out in the group stage, so I can't really put them anything higher than a C. And what do I put them in C? I'll probably put them uh, below Milan. I think I'll put them below Milan. But yeah, um, next to Manchester City, I thought Manchester City were good in the Champions League this season. It was just unfortunate they lost to Real Madrid on pens. But you could also make argument they were kind of lucky uh, to not. Uh, Real Madrid could have won won the first leg, and maybe should have. So. For Manchester City, I thought they were great. You know, the Champions League, they, the group stage, they took care of business. You know, 18 points out of 18. And then obviously around 16, they destroyed Copenhagen. But yeah, then obviously in the quarterfinals, it was very disappointing. So for Manchester City, I'll probably put them B. I'll probably put like them like a high B-ish. Um, uh, I'll probably put them like a high B-ish. A high B-ish indeed. Uh, Manchester United is definitely not. They're definitely not. But the fact that you only got one win in the group stage in the Champions League is crazy. And against the likes of Galatasaray and Copenhagen and Bayern is really bad. And they were just terrible. They were really, really bad. Uh, Manchester United, they only they, they were scoring so many goals, but defensively were so tragic. So you got to put them F. And the expectations are Manchester United. They should have mentioned them get out of the group. Okay, next up is Napoli. Uh, Napoli, for me, I'll put them, probably put them like C. Uh, you know, they managed to get past the group stage. But let's be real, the group stage wasn't really that hard. Uh, but, you know, they, they managed to get past. And they did put up an okay performance against Barca. So... For Napoli, as I said, I'll put them, like, in the round of 16. I'll put them in, like, a C. And I'll probably put them, like, uh, below, behind Lazio. And yeah. Uh, next up is Newcastle. Newcastle, for me, I thought they were decent. Um, in the ch They were decent in the Champions League. You know, they managed to get four points against PSG, which was crazy. And then they managed to get a point against Milan. And then they managed to... But they didn't get anything against um, uh, Dortmund. That's the thing. So, for Newcastle, I thought they were pretty underwhelming in the Champions League. But they did manage to get four, uh, five points, though, which was crazy. Considering this was the first time back in the Champions League for so long. So, do I put Newcastle? I'm thinking about putting them C or D. I think I'm going to put them D. I know it might seem really harsh. Uh, but if you look at all six games, they were only really good. Actually, but... You know what? I feel bad putting them D. I'm not putting them D. I'm going to put them C. I'm going to put them C. I'll put them like low and C-ish. Low and C. Because I have to keep in mind, it was a very difficult group. It was one of the most difficult groups in the Champions League history. So, 
I think I'm putting them C. I'll put them C. And I'll, you know what? I'll put them above uh, Galtesser, actually. Um, I'll put them above Galtesser, even though they finished bottom. Uh, Porto, I thought Porto were good. You know, they managed to get past the uh, group stage. We Most of us expected around since they, they lost against Arsenal. But I think they put up a decent performance against Arsenal. You know, they they aren't they can't really be ashamed. They only lost to a pen. So I was thinking about putting them C, but honestly, I'm going to put them B just because they push Arsenal to pens at the end of the day. And I think that's commendable. I think that's commendable. It's like a low B-ish. I'll put them like low B-ish. PSG. Honestly, guys, PSG were lucky to make the semifinals. Because let's be real. They were very lucky. to They, they made it out of the group stage in kind of controversial manner. Because remember, that penalty against Newcastle. And remember, PSG were on the verge of being going out on the final match day. They managed to scrape through on head-to-head. Round of 16, they defeated Real Sociedad that had been out of form. And uh, then in the quarterfinals, they defeated Barca thanks to Barca going down in 10 men. And the semifinals, they got dist- they they were so bad against Dortmund. So for PSG, honestly, guys, I'm thinking about putting them like uh, I'm, I, I know I probably should put them A because, you know, they made the Champions League semifinals, but I'm not putting them A just because they made the semifinals. So, no, I'm going to put them B and I'm trying to think where do I rank the B specifically? I think, you know what? I think I'll put them above. Um, I'll put them like above. uh Copenhagen and Porto, but yeah, I mean, I thought PSG were very lucky to make the semis. They 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 didn't really deserve to make the semis, in my opinion. Uh, PSV, yeah, I think they did all right. You know, PSV got to round of sixteen. You got to give them that. Um, you know, they did it. You know, in a very in, in interesting group, and then you know they lost against Dortmund in close games. So, I think for PSV, I'll put them like a round of sixteen. I'll put them like a C. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll put them like a C, like I guess above Milan, Lons, and those other teams. Uh, Leipzig, I think they did all right. They they made it to round 16. They put up a good game against Real Madrid, you know, only lost in um, uh, close manner. So, you know what? I think in Leipzig, I'm going to put them B. I'm going to put them Leipzig B just because they managed to give Real Madrid a very difficult game and only lost by the one goal deficit, which was actually interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to put Leipzig in B. Um, next up, it is Real Madrid. Real Madrid for me is ass. I mean, you got, I mean, the difficult, the path they had to this Champions League was crazy. So they topped a group with 18 points. Perfect, perfect. Round 16 had a very difficult time against Leipzig, but they managed to get past quarterfinals against, um, uh, what is it called? Manchester City managed to get past, not playing the prettiest, and the semifinals. The thing with Real Madrid is that they weren't really dominant, but they had to overcome the difficulties. They've had to overcome adversity. They've had to overcome deficits. They've had to come from behind. That's the thing with this Real Madrid team is that this team just knows how to win. And at the end of the day, guys, a knockout stage competition, you just want to win. And it's even the same in the final. Like, they were not the best at the final yesterday, but they managed to win. And the winning the winning the final is more important than playing well. So, for me, for Real Madrid, it's an ass. Real Madrid's an ass. They simply won the Champions League. Now, if I was, like, if I was like, being more objective and everything, taking all the performances, I probably wouldn't put them as. But because they won the Champions, you got to put them as. you got to put them as. Real Sociedad. Um, Real Sociedad I thought were great. You know, they managed to top the group as a pot four team was insane. But then the round of 16 they got blown away against PSG. So, unfortunately for Real Sociedad, I'm going to put I'm gonna put them B, but I'm going to have to put them like the low B-ish because they got blown away. Because they were, I, I think they could have been a dark horse. They could have been a dark horse, man. But yeah, they were a very underwhelmed. They, uh, they just didn't look good against PSG at all. Salzburg for me, I'm putting them F. I'm putting Salzburg in F. Um, I think Salzburg were really poor in the Champions League this season. Only got one victory, I believe. And yeah, that was against Benfica away. And Benfica were down at 10. Minutes. So yeah, not much to say there. Sevilla for me, it's another F. They couldn't even get Europa League. They didn't even get a single win. And yeah, Sevilla for me is really, really bad. I'm I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to put Sevilla and F. They failed. They were so bad. Chakter Donetsk. I think Shakhtar Donetsk were decent. You know, I thought they were okay. You know, managed to get third place in the group. That was probably too expected. So, I'll probably put Shakhtar like a C. Uh, and, yeah. Junior Berlin. Um, I'm going to put them D. I thought Junior Berlin were okay. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, they were just kind of underwhelming. But, you know, they put up some good performances, you know, I, and throughout the games. You know, they weren't getting blown away. So, I'll probably put them like a D. Uh, I'll probably put them below Benfica. Uh, and the young boys for me, I'll probably put them like a D as well. You know, they managed to get Europa League. Uh, but yeah, not really much more to say there on that. So that's my Champions League tier list for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know your tier list in the comments below. 
And please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, man, peace out.